Greetings, this is Mr. Curious. I'm here to showcase uh, some new tools that were created by user Mario Kart 64N, aka Data. Uh, he's one of the hardest working tool developers in the Resident Evil 4 community, and I have to preface this video by saying I am very grateful for the amount of time, love, and dedication this guy has put into making tools for us. The most recent of which is this RE4 utilities tool, uh, which essentially enables us to extract many of the game files and observe their contents. And um, the latest development now allows us to extract and observe the contents of the XSB, which is the exact sound bank and exact wave bank uh, files. Uh, the wave banks are a bunch of wave files. The XSB are sound and cue names that are used by the game that link to the SND file, which are part of the room UDAS files. Um, when we extract an UDAS, uh, there's a lot of things like the SMD and the effects and the camera and the lights but the SND is the linking sound file that hooks into the XSB. So um, traditionally when users have wanted to add ETM objects to rooms that they are not native to, so in this example we are playing a stage 109, uh, we don't have uh, exploding tanks or auto doors that move. Um, we don't even have glass in this room. 109 is simply, I think, it's just uh, a, a lock breaking sound and some grumbling sounds from El Gigante. And those are contained um, in the room XWB files. And um, uh, those can be found in your bio 4 SND room and then ST1. If you were working on, uh, say, room 205, you would be in ST2. So basically, we're able to move these objects and their effects, but um, their sounds don't carry with them. And for this uh, tutorial, I'm using a master ETM file which allows me to load any uh, of the game's ETM files via the ETS. Uh, you'll notice that there's some errors with this master file. For example, uh, the effects are broken and many of the textures are absent. Um, you know, So in any case, um, th for this tutorial it doesn't really matter that this ETM file is broken because we're just dealing with sound so um, but you know like you, you, you move a, an object from from room to room and you want it to make a sound you want to break that glass and nothing happens right you blow up the canister there's just no sound right and so um, today I'm going to show us how we can do that with Mario Kart's amazing new tools and just thank you thank you thank you to him for all the hard work he put into that and so for this tutorial we're going to de be dealing with three files. Um, the first thing we're going to do is open up the XWB and we simply do that by dragging this onto the RE4 utility and you'll see that it generates a folder with all our WAV files. And so we can preview those uh, say with VLC but today I'm going to open them up in, um, in a SoundForge. Uh, to edit them uh, just so I can show you how that works quickly you can also use like uh, audacity um, that's a free tool uh, that you can get so I'm going to edit a couple of waves and then we're going to repack it and just show you that that works so there we have El Gigante grumbling and uh, you know what for this tutorial I just don't want to hear those grumbling sounds so I'm just going to silence that and save it uh, there's a silent sound. Um, just gonna. There's a door sound. Another door sound. Another door sound. Door sound. A lock breaking sound. Here's another grumbling sound. I'm just gonna process that and put the volume down to zero. Another grumbling sound. Process that volume down to zero and save. I'm just saving every time. This is a 
wave file from somewhere else that we will be dealing with later. So you see here if I change the uh, file uh, organization by date that um, these were these last three were changed at 1007. So those were the first files that we changed. And so to open this in a project and to save it, um, the first thing we do is open this XSB now. So we'll or the second thing rather. So we're going to drag that onto the utility and we'll see that it's created an XAP. That's an uh, exact audio project. And so when we open that, there'll be two things we're looking at. The wave banks, which are all the wave files that we just saw, um, and then the sound banks, which include sound names and their queue names. So essentially in this tutorial, what I want to do is like take this vase that's got no breaking sound and add it to our wave bank and then I'll show you how to link it in with the sound name and the cue name to link to our SND file. So essentially before we couldn't edit XSBs we could and we still essentially can't unless we're hex editing them but we can create new ones from scratch and that is totally fine for the intents and purposes of what we're doing. So if we want to add a vase sound we first need to have some sort of knowledge of like where am I going to get that sound? Well most people that play the game enough know that the castle has plenty of vases that break and for this example I've opened up uh, 201 and so we're just going to take the XWB from 201 drag it onto the utility and it'll make a folder here. Now instead of making you listen to all these sounds, I know that it is sound 21. I auditioned them in VLC, but I'm just going to drag that 21 into here. And we'll just preview it quickly. There's the vase, there's the vase breaking sound. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to go back to my room here. And since uh, there's only like nine wave files, there'll be no name conflicts when I paste it and I'm going to name it one higher than the last. So we have 0 through 8 and I'm going to name this number 9. Okay so the next thing I do is simply drag this number 9 into the wave banks and you'll see that it's red and that's because it's not connected in any way to the rest of the project files. Now what's interesting what we can do uh, here is to add notes so I can just put vase small and then breaking or whatever copy that just so I have it in my notes and you can see that there's like a little notes thing here so the next thing we need to do now like if we just add this and, and repack it, fine, that's dandy, but there's nothing to call on it from the game. There's nothing to tell it to say when this breaks, play this sound. That's where this comes in. Now, in order to know where this goes, well the first thing we do is we need to we need to stick that um, file here. We need to stick that into the sound bank. So we're going to drag this number 9 just to the bottom here. And we're going to rename it number 9. Just I think you can leave it as whatever you want, but just to, to keep up with the naming convention, I'm going to keep it like that, just as it is. So now number 9 is the sound, and it plays wave number 9. I can also make notes uh, on this as well. I can just paste those notes I had there. So when we have um, when we read this, we can we can know what file we're dealing with. So and now the important thing here is to note is that this needs to be dragged into just the right folder here, but we don't know which one of these. It does it doesn't always go nine nine ten ten these room files it's often very different and so what you need to understand is these Q names are actually universal so that whatever's being used in 11 will always be used in in all the other rooms so if I'll, I'll get to that in a moment um, but what, what in order to know which which uh, 
Q name to drag this into, we need to look at the original. So what we'll do is we'll go back to um, 201. Where were we here? Were we here? Uh, I think I can just, is this it? Yes. Okay, so we'll, we do the same thing. We take the XSB and we drag it on the utility. Now the original name was 21. So if we go into the sound banks here in 201, we need to find out which sound here first is using 21. So we're, we're looking here. There it is. So it's sound number 33. Now that doesn't matter for the for the next if if we go back to the other one and look at 33 there's probably there isn't a 33 there's I don't even I think it goes up to 9 right but what's important is that we understand which one of these Q names uses sound 33 not to be confused with track 21 so sound 33 and that might even be a, a an actual hex translation if we look at it um, <clears throat> 21 or 21 here 33 there you go but I mean that's not necessarily always going to be the case but in this case sound 33 is using number 21 so now we have to find which Q uses sound 33 so we're going to be looking at this um, section here and so if we see repeating stuff like this 12, that usually means it's silence and it's not being used at all in this particular room. So we're going to scroll through this until we find 33. And there's often quite a few blanks. I'm still scrolling. Now there may be a quicker way to actually find this 33, but... I'm, uh, so far as I know, I just scroll through, and I may have already passed it. Forgive me if I have. No, there we go. So, Q name 90. That means in all other instances that use a vase that breaks, you're going to find it that it leads you to this Q name, number 90. doesn't mean it's going to use the same wave file, and it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to use the same sound name. That could be totally different. There could be a room that only has four sounds, like say a, a you know, glass breaking, an auto door, and a vase. And so you would typically then you would probably have sound names zero, one, and two. So this could be sound two, and it plays wave file one, but it's always going to get dumped into ninety. So how that helps us in our next thing is that we have sound 9 that plays 9 which is basically f uh, file 21 renamed so we need to drag 9 into number 90 down here and that's as simple as just going like this and dragging it in here now you'll see that there's already an 8 here and that's because in this file number 8 is what's used for silence and so we just get rid of number eight by pressing the delete key and there you have number nine so our sound nine which contains wave file nine is going to play 90 and it's as simple as hitting rebuild and then we hit finish and what happens after that is that in our working directory of 109 a new folder has been created and inside uh, it's called win and inside win is the new XSB and the new XWB. And so uh, we're going to drag those to this ST1 folder, Bio4, as there. So I want to make sure that that is right. That's a shortcut. And so I'm just going to put the shortcut to um, there and drag these two new files and this XWB has our, our new vase breaking sound. Now this isn't the end of it. We've created 
this the new wave banks and the new sound banks but we also need to edit our um, sound file and that's as easy as just dragging that onto the utility this sound file was extracted from the R109 UDAS and you can unpack those with Son of Persia tools and Mario Kart also has a tool that exports that as well so this is the file that gets created this 10930 new XML and so we can open that with a text editor and this file can be quite overwhelming there's like a lot of data in here but all you need to know is that there's two entries or two tables rather that uh, contain all the the queue data and they're called sit count so when you ever see sit count that's essentially uh, that is that translates to queue names okay so this is this I added in previously while I was fixing something but um, we know that that 90 is our uh, small vase breaking and so 90 uh, is one of those sit uh, things that should be included in this sit but for, but in the 109 there there are only 43 entries and so if we were going to put an index for 90 we need all the ones in between so we need to up this to something that will include the number 90 so if we go back to 201 and look at the sit count by the way we're, we're only going to deal with the sit count for the first the first sit counts so I, I haven't we haven't messed with the second ones it, it apparently works if you just edit the first first ones so in in one in 201 we have a sit count of 118 so we'll simply we're simply just going to up the count in um, in 109 sit count the first one okay remember there's two there's there's one down here and there's another one up here so this is the first one so we're going to up our count to 118 we're going to jump to the end of this sit count and to do that we just simply type in forward slash sit now remember our count was 43 so it should end at 42 okay so that means we need to copy entry index 43 to the end on the other one. So we'll jump, to, we'll scroll down here. Oh, sorry, making sure that we're on the the sit count, the, the top one. So here's the bottom one. We're going back to the top one. Scrolling down until we hit 43. Okay, and I'm just going to go from entry index 43 all the way down to, it should be 116 if I'm not mistaken. There it is, 116. And just down till it says entry. Okay, so I'm copying that. And I'm going to paste it after 42. After entry, I'm going to hit enter, uh, shift enter, and then paste. And now we have 117 um, entries. Uh, so, which, if we scroll back, we will see that number 90 is the one that we needed to include. And so, just so you know, um, I'm, I'm making a master list here. So, glass breaking is 59, auto doors is 15. They will always use the same. The same one. So in this case, I can copy. Um, I can copy this 90 and throw it in my master list here. Um, I'm trying to preserve the um, the formatting here with all the spacing and stuff. You can also add commenting in. Um, XML which is amazing so you can just simply change this to uh, vase breaking and I'll provide this list for you guys later so you're not gonna have to necessarily know 
which one of these to stick something in you'll just be able to look at this list and go oh it needs my new my new phase breaking sound that I've just put in here you won't have to scroll through and compare it to the old one you'll just be able to look and go okay 90 it needs to go into 90 um, and for this case we can also just copy this uh, comment and stick it in in our existing file in case we want to have like a note for later like oh what did I what did I change okay so what did we just do a little recap we updated the sit count of the here's the second one we updated the first one here okay and you could literally put a note and just say updated from you know whatever updated from 43 or whatever it doesn't matter just so you have some sort of note or whatever and that's it that's seriously it all you need to do after that is take the um, original SND delete it or put it wherever you want take this XML and drag it onto the utility okay now a new SND from XML SND has been generated you're going to rename it to the original file. In this case, I have a text file that had the name just so I can, you know, constantly copy it over anytime I make a new one. And then I just drag that into my UDAS folder, replacing the original. For you guys, it's going to be, you know, in your UDAS folder, and then you repack and all that. Uh, for me, it's just a matter of clicking this script that I have which uh, deletes my original UDAS and replaces it with the new one. Okay, so now we should have a vase that breaks. Let's have a look. Let's have a listen, I mean. Bingo, right? Easy peasy. And that's how it works. And so I'll just continue this by saying, let's do another one. Why not? Let's see how quickly we can put an auto door in with all the information that we have. So if I provided you guys, let's say, with a master folder full of sounds, let's say, for example, with a master list, so let's say auto door, so you'd go to, to Mr. Curious's list and you go, okay, let's grab sound D gonna stick that in my working folder so our last file is a so we're going to rename this to B sorry my typing's terrible and it's as easy as just like grabbing the file from from this thing I'll provide you guys with I'm gonna drag it into your sound whoops sorry I, oh I constantly do that I forget that I'm drag the first part is to drag it into the sound bank. What is going on? This is object using this file already. What are you talking about? Okay, there we go. So it's red because it hasn't been assigned a sound yet. So we're going to drag that here. Noting that we don't use hex in this we use decimal um, let's make some notes what do we got auto door and I'll copy that oh wait it seems I've already added this sorry I added this back before so we can actually delete that uh, 10 auto door oh see and I've already added the WAV file too. Sorry about that. I, I, I went back and did some work on this in between to see if I was... There it is. Okay, so we don't even need to add that. I've added, I've added it already. It's A. So 9 was our vase sound. A is our auto door sound. So that's there. That A has been assigned to 10. I can just I can actually get rid of that and just show you how I would have done it. Sorry, it's already being used. Anyway, I've already I've already done the work here. I've, I've dragged A in here. A was assigned to number 10. 10 was assigned to um, where does it go? It goes in 15. How do we know that? Well, you could do it the way I showed you. Go into a room that has. Um, 
an auto door and see what entry it uses blah 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 or you could just go to the master list that I'm sort of working on right now auto door it's number 15 okay so literally all you're gonna have to do is copy this later on but like you know that it's 15 so you're just gonna grab 10 stick it in 15 and if there's something else there previously like 8 you would get rid of it I've already done that and so now let's just repack finish uh, so we know now that these two files have been updated bam bam just drag those in there and what's next we need to edit this XML okay so let's go back to our stick count okay so we you know we could also mean you could make this say my list whatever so you know that this is the the, the first one that you're editing and we're gonna go to the master queue list and just copy this little thing here from the beginning to the end uh, and then paste it in the 15 chunk down in here let's just scroll down it's not even that far uh, a 17 16 there it is bang paste auto door save uh, grab this XML drop it on here this new file is created take this file copy the name paste the name drag the file into your working directory repack test I can't believe how easy this is now and dude like Mario Kart thank you a million fold like this is so sick bang right so easy but let's say for example there's two parts of this okay we need breaking glass should be noted too that um, this door just breaks once this door this glass breaks you, you hit it like four times and then it breaks so there's there's actually two sounds involved in this piece here it's the tink tink the little, like the little glass hits and then the break bam but this one for this purpose we only we only need one so let's again let's see how easy it is uh, we'll go to the master file um, this master uh, what do you call it I'll make a folder I'll put a bunch of sounds in there I plan on doing the chainsaws too man we're gonna figure all this out okay so glass breaking is E so you'll grab the number E you know what I'll probably just actually name these glass breaking or I'll actually have the names you might, who knows we'll figure out a way that's super easy and user-friendly so we're gonna grab that file and just dump it in here remember a B so it's gonna be C bang and then what do we do we go here we go to the wave bank drag it in Oh wait a second, Jesus Murphy! What's the B sound? Okay, I had two. I had two auto doors in there, so we'll name this B. Sorry. Now that goes into here. B gets dragged into here. Renamed eleven, and called glass breaking copying that these notes are awesome right you just have everything here and then so uh, let's look at the master list is there glass breaking in here sorry auto door glass breaking is going to be 59 okay so we're just going to scroll down to 59 Okay, I've already deleted what was originally in there, but you would just take sound 11 and stick it in 59. Make some notes. Glass breaking. That's seriously it. It's that easy. And then it's just a matter of repacking this stuff, or not even just copying to your thing. Going to your XML. Let's grab glass breaking at 59 copy it 
go over here. Uh, where are we at? Back. To, let's make sure we're in the right place. My list. Go down and hit till you hit 59. And then just paste, dude. It's so easy. Look at this. Bam. Glass breaking. Again. Super simple. Take this. Drag it on there. Bam, bam. And this will work for all glass breaking sounds. You'll, you'll see once we get back in the room there, like all that stuff that's glass breaking is hooked in now. It's so sick. Because they all use the same flag. Or the same cue, sorry. So the these first hits will not register, for example, in this one. But the next one will. different models that use glass even down here you have different by the way and the auto door works so sick right oh Mario Kart you are just a gem dude so okay my plan is you guys I will make a master list of everything that I come across we can add to it we could all add to this database um, hopefully we'll have a full comprehensive list of like all um, 100 there's I think there's like the highest one I've seen is 124 the chainsaws are gonna be in there somewhere I'm gonna actually start working on that tonight um, but yeah so there's gonna be we can we can make a master repository of sounds and have oops have a list um, of those sounds and uh, if you want to use those or you can you can dig around in the originals if you want anyway you you've seen how these tools work I really appreciate the time you've taken I know this is a long tutorial but it's well 